Today we're going to install a new water pump on a 2015 Chrysler 200. Alright, I just made a video of how to remove the thermostat. And as you can see, it was a bitch. So here's the old one. Get rid of that bad boy. Uh, I did break this hose. Yowzers. Which is a little quick connect. Slips in, clicks in. Not anymore. So I went to AutoZone when I bought the thermostat and I got the hose to replace it. It's gonna go like so. So I'm gonna remove this one from here and tie that one down with a clamp as well. You gotta do what you gotta do. All I did was tug it and it broke. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna go ahead and insert this just like so. Might have to turn this a little bit so it'll be ready for me to just connect it. Uh, there is four screws that go onto this. There's two tens, and there is two five sixteens. The five sixteens go in the corners. I don't know why they did this, man. And then the two tens are in the other two corners. Yeah, it took me a while to solve this. That's why I couldn't get it out. <laughs> So these two 516s go on this side, and these two 10s go on this side. Who knew? Right? I thought it was just one. Obviously there's two, and this one you cannot see down there. I had to use a mirror to be able to see it. So it was such a hassle. So if you're doing this, good luck. All right, so there it is. Everything is nicely turned, ready to go back in. Let's go ahead and place this in here. You really can't see it, but there's this bracket right here that the uh, thermostat needs to go underneath. Then there's gonna go a screw that holds this plate together. So we're gonna put in that screw in first. All right, we got the first one in. So now we're gonna try to get this bottom one down here. And this one's gonna go in between this pipe and this hose right in there. All right, there it is. It's just nice and snug. Um, using a mirror down here. That way I'm able to see it. And it's time for the next one. All right, and this one is going to also be the 10 millimeter. Then the last one is going to be the 516s. All right, now I'm started to tie these down. Start off with this one. Now the one up here. Now I'm going to do this one, the 10. Where is it? Right here. Then the one down there, the other 10. So I started with the 516s, now I'm moving on to the tanks. All right, maybe like two hours later, I finally got that stupid bottom bolt back in. I had to use a mirror again. I swear to God, this is no joke. This is by far the hardest thermostat I've ever, 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 ever had to change out. <sighs> so look, our line's perfect. Okay. I jacked up that line. Next step, we're gonna add this air actuator back in there. All right, so actually before we put this back in there and we have less room, let's go ahead and connect everything back to the thermostat. So let's go ahead and start off with this bottom hose that goes connected right here. Let's shove that sucker way in here. Hopefully I can get it out. All right, so this is the line that goes to the thermostat. And this has this little clip in here. So, I'm gonna figure that out right now. 
I think we have to plug in the line and then try to insert the clip because try to insert in the clip and then the insert in the line I don't think it's such a great idea because what if you drop the clip and then you're screwed <sighs> figure this out real quick so I dropped the clip and I had to retrieve it thank god I was able to find it with this magnet so gotta be careful here comes try number two well this is a bitch it looks like uh I put the clips on there uh, there it is. Put the clips on there. Sorry, this is my light now. <laughs> and looks like it's gonna slip in. Fuck yeah. Doing too much. Doing too much. So that's in there now and secured. Let's go ahead and let me see. Connect this one here. So right here, that's clipped in there. Let's connect this pigtail. All right. Sorry for the poor lighting now. Let's go ahead and connect this hose back into place. Right there. And we'll use the channel locks to bring that up. All right, use the good old channel locks to move that into place. And I believe this goes somewhere like that. This one's gonna go right here. that and we have this one that we broke <laughs> we'll bring that over here um, we have that one already there we have that running over here just to the side for right now um, I'll make sure everything is good up here before we proceed on to the next step I think so so we're just gonna go ahead and Put this back into its place. And this has the three screws, two long ones, and the short one. The short one goes on top, the long ones go here and here at the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in real quick. All right, I went ahead and cleaned the surface. Uh, the O ring was on there. I don't want to move it just because it was stuck on there and I didn't want this O ring to break. But I'm kind of kind of having trouble putting this thing in there so I'm gonna have to wiggle it back and forth so I might just end up breaking it so I just cleaned that off cleaned off the surface over here and now I'm gonna wiggle that sucker in there all right so yeah you just had to turn it the reason for it being is because there's like a little clock spring kind of anyways it engages kind of like so uh, like so so it needs to rotate. Um, it's just a straight line and two little pins inside the straight line. It goes like this. So it needs to engage like that. And I just kind of eyeballed it where it's gonna go in. Then I just kind of turned it and it's in there. Hopefully that didn't take it out of alignment. Um, I don't remember messing with it, so hopefully the little adjustment that I gave it uh, was the appropriate spacing or the appropriate alignment. So now I'm getting all these in here and all three. So I'll go ahead and tie those down. Then we'll move to the throttle body <clears throat> and the intake housing. Uh, then the uh, computer and we should be done. Yay. All right, and we're gonna be using a size 13 socket to tie these down. This one is the hardest one to get to. Here probably gonna need both hands and this one is actually better angled from down here all right 
there it is nice and tight all right so now let's go ahead and move on to the air intake actually let's see this light's a little bit charged i don't think it was plugged in <laughs> uh, i'm pushing a hose out of the way it's gonna go right in here so let me find it real quick all right there it is here's the hose let's go ahead and plug that back in uh i unclip this one right here let's go ahead and clip this one back and right here this little plastic connector and... oh there's a little clip right here it goes on top of the screw like so It and we're ready to throw in the bottle body. Pigtails out of the way. And now we'll plug in the throttle body. Alright, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna actually plug in the throttle body to the pigtail just to make it easier. Let's go ahead and drop the throttle body in there and set it into place all right there it is there's a little pin right here I don't know if you can see it kind of locks it into place so there's no way you can mess it up there it is so let's go ahead and put in the screws now all right so this one has four screws Two 30 T30 hex screws that go right in the rear. <laughs> but, whoops, these are huh, the nuts. This one goes right here in the corner. This one goes right here. This one goes right here. And it's a little tight spot. Then this one here goes in this corner. All right, so in the last video, to take it off, there's also this stupid bracket. I don't recommend you put this sucker on. So one more time, let's throw it in the trash. <laughs> so let's go ahead and bolt everything down. These are gonna be 10 socket, and these are going to be the 30. T30 hex. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Keep seeing hex. T30 bit. I guess I don't know. It doesn't really matter. So the same shit. So let's go ahead and bolt each all of these down. All right. So I used this 10 with a swivel to reach these and just hand tighten them. And then I don't have for this right here so I made it work with one of these sockets the size is a quarter so I went ahead and went just like so stuck the bit in there and just and tighten all of those just to make sure it's nice and snug all right perfect now we're ready to connect the uh, uh, air intake ducking so let's go ahead and connect that real quick all right so this is just gonna go up here right in here this has a little clip it's gonna go right back here I don't know if you can really see it just push that suck in there as much as you could and then this one is gonna go in here that in there this hole's in here and there's a 10 millimeter socket that's going to go right here. At the very top, running out of light. And this flashlight's dead. It's, I'm trying to charge it, but. Eh. So this one's a 10. And here are the last uh, bolts that we have for that right there. 
So let me go ahead and put all this back together. And these three are the ones that hold that uh, computer together. This one is the one that goes the throttle body, but that one could be thrown away too. <laughs> so there it is. No more extra screws or nuts because we don't. We throw away the one that we uh, we don't want for the bracket. Anyways, let's go ahead and continue with this right here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and make sure the air duct is in there, nice and snug. And let's see if we can do it with this big old flathead. If not, we're gonna need a smaller one. Boom. And I might need both hands to reach in there. Yeah, I'm going to do both hands. All right, so let's go ahead and press this down with the back of the flathead. That way it goes all the way down. Perfect. This is nice and secured. Let's go ahead and connect the pigtail. There it is. And there's the 10 mil that we have to bolt in down. Sweet. Let's go ahead and screw this in with a flat head. Now we gotta top this thing off with coolant. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna just go ahead and add some coolant. Hopefully I don't drop any. Yeah, I'm gonna need both hands to do this. That's that cool. All right, so I have to remove the old line, the one that I broke. So I'm gonna cut this off and I'm gonna connect this one right into there. There it is, cut it out. That was a hassle too. And before I put that in, let me go ahead and put the little tie down. Let's go ahead and put this in here. Try to shove it in there as much as possible. Well, you don't have to do that if you don't break it. That's in case you do break it. All right, now that I fixed my boo-boo, let's go ahead and continue. Let's go ahead and plug this computer back into its place. Just like so. All the three brackets go into place. Sorry about the bad lighting. Look at my flashlight's already dying again. So let's grab our three 10 millimeter sockets and just screw those bad boys all the way in. Last one. Rippy. <laughs> Every time. That's right. Of who? Huh? Of who? Of who? Yeah, of who? Come here. Let me try y'all something, bro. Let me see, let me see, bro. I got you, I got you. For the camera, how you put the camera? Is it this right here? It's already recording. All right, let me try y'all something, bro. This guy, he's gonna be up there one time on YouTube, bro. I'm telling you guys. Hopefully. Look at, who else does this? Tell me, who else does this, bro? This guy's one of a kind, I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. Hey, subscribe. Like and subscribe and comment. Let me know what you think about this guy. <laughs> Thanks, my nigga. <laughs> Go ahead and tie those down. We're easily we're gonna use the 10 ratchet, speed ratchet to make it easier. Oh, wrong side. Alright. Alright. And the one down here. Just 
kind of hard to get to. Uh, you might need both hands. All right, so let's go ahead and plug these in. They have indications, blue to blue. Let's slap it all the way in and latch them down. This one is in here. And I forgot about the ground wire. <laughs> this one goes right there. So let me go ahead and take this one off real quick. Cover back on. There it is, sweet. That is how you install a thermostat on a 2015 Chrysler 200. Sorry it took so long, guys, but thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.